Hey, Coach, I think early in the second half you guys got by 11, and they answered, and then it was back and forth, back and forth. Did, did, did you think at that chance maybe you had a chance to keep separating, or what was the difference down during that, that run? Well, we played great to start the second half. I mean, we went on a 7-0 run in about a minute and a half, and then they went on an 11-0 run in about two minutes. So, uh, obviously, we, you know, we had an opportunity to uh, keep them at arm's length and, and, and uh, didn't do a good job of that at all. So, that was a big stretch of the game uh, from the 18-minute uh, mark to the first TV timeout. That's when they went on their run, and, of course, we went on our run the first couple of minutes. But... Hell, that happens in a game. There's a lot of time after that. What do you think was giving you guys trouble in terms of the offensive execution, particularly in the first half? Well, I think that they guard us pretty good. And I also think that, uh, you know, if you, if you really studied how we played, uh, uh, we didn't do a good job. And I'm not saying that by any stretch, but the few opportunities that we had, I mean, we. Juan under throws Hunter on an uncontested layup. Parker throws a high low pass that he's wide open on out of bounds. Uh, Kevin uh, 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 missed a layup at the end of the first half. You know, you know, you, you score four points on those. You wouldn't be saying you wouldn't be asking that same question. So, so uh, yeah, we didn't do a good job at all. But we were still up two at halftime, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, it, it's not like uh, uh, that was the ball game. You know, there in the first half. Bill, the, the bench had two points. Do you feel like that puts a ton of pressure on the starters, obviously, with playing heavy minutes throughout the season? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It puts pressure on uh, starters. But, but uh, starters playing the majority of the minutes, they should score the majority of the points. I mean, the bench doesn't have a chance to score a lot of yeah. points. They don't play a lot. But, but yeah, uh, uh, obviously, that's, that's going to be a concern all year long for us. We've been playing with that all year. Bill, how much do you think foul? I can't, I can't hear, guys. How much do you think foul trouble played a role? Uh, I don't think foul trouble played a role. Uh, 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 you know, our guys fouled out, you know, late in this overtime, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, I, I, and we played them with four fouls after, after they got them. I mean, so I, I, don't think, I don't think the foul issues as far as our guys uh, 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 playing differently, I don't think that really had a, had a role in it. Coach, on Saturday you talked about matching K-State's intensity. You knew they'd be intense coming in. Just talk about both teams' intensity tonight. Well, I thought that they were the more athletic uh, and explosive team early in the game. And I, th I thought we showed stretches where we were as well. Uh, uh, but, but if you know, uh, the bottom line is, you know, the game comes down to making free throws and it comes down to they scored their last six points in regulation. I'm not mistaken. Mistaken, one of them doing offensive rebounds, and two of them they earned, and one of them was an air ball that just came up short, and the other one Hunter tipped in. So, so I mean that they, we, we were kind of unlucky there too, even though you know those that's obviously part of the game. You've talked a lot about consistency and finding that. Is that kind of evident from Saturday to tonight? That the difference in those two games, guys, uh, whether it's uh, K State playing at. Oklahoma State or us playing Houston or whatever, uh, the intensity and everything's not quite the same or the prep. I mean, you practice for 20 minutes on Sunday, uh, uh, you know, because of fatigue and all that stuff. So I actually thought both teams probably did a pretty good job hanging in there for 45 minutes because I know we were tired and, and, and uh, uh, I don't think we were quite as turned up as, as what we were on Saturday, obviously. Uh, Bill, wondering if uh, for Furphy, freshman learning curve game, he was really good Saturday, a little bit more of a struggle tonight, yeah. maybe a little more targeted on the scouting report, that sort of well, thing. Well, I, th I think the way it works is, you know, people will get a book on everybody. And, and uh, you know, his, 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 with all the success that he's had, obviously his book's grown. And uh, I thought they did a good job, without question. And I also thought that we didn't do as good a job. And, and, and Johnny wasn't quite as good as what he's normally been, but uh, he's a, he's obviously a good player and a great prospect, and and uh, we're going to need him to to uh, you know be an offensive threat for us. But but uh, I just think today was you know he was kind of do one of these. Anything else, Gary? Bill, were there any problems getting off the court 
Uh, no, I, I actually subbed to make sure that we could get, you know, to bring everybody to the side when the game was over. So, yeah, I don't think that, I, I mean, I didn't notice any problems. So that's why you put all those guys in, just to get the starters off the court? Or? Well, I put them in because if you leave the starters out there, they don't know to get to the side of the court. So I put the other guys in so they knew to get to the side of the court because normally every other time that we've lost over here, there's been a pretty good stor court storming, and, and tonight there wasn't that. But, but uh, uh, I, thought, I thought they did a really good job in, in controlling everything there at the end. Coming off the floor, it seemed like there were some words exchanged between the coaching staffs. Just what transpired there? Uh, I don't know anything about. Uh, it wasn't with my top assistants, I don't think. So I don't know anything what was said. Pretty, pretty emotional sport and emotional game. So, so uh, I imagine if there was something said, it was probably just done out of emotion. So. Anything else? Okay. Coach, I asked you a few weeks ago about these guys and how much the care factor, you know, after every win and loss, it's highs and lows. And today they look pretty emotional. What do you say to them? And I mean, how do you get ready for this? Well, the thing, the thing about it is, folks, we're not good enough to not execute, not play smart. Uh, 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 you know, go on the road, you need to make free throws. You need to do a lot. You need to take advantage of your opportunities. And we didn't do that well enough. Uh, uh, and we were still right there with the chance to win. And, and uh, you know, we got to tighten those things up, obviously. But, hey, this league, God dang. Anybody in America that would have come here tonight and played them, they, it would have been a hard win with that crowd and everything else. So, so uh, 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 can't let one become two. That's the big thing. All right, thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach.